Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain you the Python code that is required to print the strobe grammatic numbers of n digits. So here is the quick overview of the project that we are going to build. Actually, it is not a project, but it is just an exercise. So here is the quick overview of that. And before going to that quick overview of that exercise, first of all, I want to introduce what is a strobo grammatic number. So normally the strobo grammatic numbers are the numbers that which seems to be the same even if we rotate them 180 degrees geometrically. So if you observe the number, for example, 808, and if you rotate this for uh, 180 degrees, in this direction then this seems to be the same as of 808 so just uh, imagine this how this is done so as like as 808 there are some other numbers that, are, that we can achieve this uh, with the same logic so here in this exercise what we are going to build is if we input some number n then what our python will do is that will return the list of strobogrammatic numbers so you might understand what is a strobogrammatic number and uh, it returns the list of all the strobogrammatic numbers of n digits so here if for example if i make this three so here i'm passing three as n now here you can see the output right here just a minute yeah here you can see the list of all the numbers that which are strobogrammatic so try to rotate them 180 degrees geometrically and try to observe them so all they are the strobogrammatic numbers so mainly in this video i'm going to explain you the python code that is required to achieve this so here you can see the examples of the strobogrammatic numbers of zero digits one two three four digits so here we have the basically these 10 digits so all the numbers are made with these digits 0 to 9 and now among all these we can build these strobogrammatic numbers only using some specific digits they are 0 1 8 9 and 6 so if we rotate 0 1 8 180 degrees geometrically then they seems to be the same as 0 1 8 so there will not be any change in them but if we rotate this 9 then this seems to be 6 and if we rotate this 6 180 degrees then that seems to be 9 so we can use these interchangeably as if we want to build the strobogrammatic numbers with these numbers so now if you observe the two digit numbers 11 69 88 and 96 and if you observe the three digit numbers here 101 111 181 so here there are three occurrences of occurring with one so i mean that one is at the starting and at the ending of the number so that cases are three in this situation so normally here in this what what is happening is or uh, if one is at the first place or at the first digit of the number then the last digit of that number is also being one and it is same for eight but it is something different for six and nine so if there is six at the starting digit then 9 should be the ending digit and if 9 then that must be 6 so there is some difference between uh, difference between 1 and 8 and 6 and 9 so now let us see the python code so here initially i'm having this function right here def strobes of n and here if n equals to 0 as we know that if the digits is 0 then there are no numbers so i'm just returning the empty list and if n equals to 1 then i'm returning the possible values so they are 0 1 8 as we know them literally but uh, here i have used this else statement to represent the value of n that is 2 and more than 2 
so in this block of code i have returned the logic so here in this logic nothing involves the mathematical calculations but it is just using the string concatenation so there is no mathematical logic right here so let us see so here i have created a result which is a, a listed type so we can see its use in a while and here i have these variables middle so let me explain the about this middle after explaining this line of code so here for middle in middle so here this middles must be an iterable object so that we can use this for loop so here this middles is being list so let us see what that list is later and here we are getting each of the entity in this middle so now let us see what are those entities in this list so here if you observe this word this is just the function strops that i have used initially and we are in that same function and we are using this function inside this so uh, is this seems to be an error no of course it is not because it is just the topic of recursion so we use this recursion so do you know how this recursion works so if we have a task and we can repeat the same task with the same function unless we have a breakpoint so we break uh, that function at some point using this if else statements and you can watch about this recursion more in more detail but here i have used this recursive function so here inside this so in place of n i have passed n minus 2 so here if you observe this n minus 2 will be n for the next iteration or for the next level of uh, executing the function so why i have used this n minus 2 can be gotten from here so if you observe this three digited number or three digited numbers to programmatic numbers so here 101 so between 1 and 1 0 is wrapped in and after that between 1 and 1 1 is wrapped in and between 1 and 1 8 is wrapped in and this occurs for each of the instances for 6 and 9 for 9 and 6 and for 8 so that means here 0, 1, 8 are being wrapped up in the middle of two identical numbers. And if you observe these four digit numbers, so between 1 and 1, this 11 is wrapped in. And then 69 and 88 and 96. And this is repeating for all the identical numbers. So do you know how can we get these middle numbers? So these are gotten from these two digit numbers that is 11, 69, 88 and 96. So here these numbers are being wrapped in these identical numbers. So that is the logic that we are going to use. So that is the reason why we are getting the list of all the stroboprogrammatic numbers of n minus two digits to get the stroboprogrammatic numbers of n digits. So now let us think that this n to be 3. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Now here n will be 1. And now it comes into this block. So it returns false and it breaks at this point n equals to 1 and it returns 0, 1, 8. Now the value of this middle is being 0, 1, 8 now for middle in middle so here we are iterating through 0 1 and 8 and here i'm using this result variable so here we have used we have created this result variable now I, it is time to use that so result dot append so as it is a list we are using this list method append to push an entity into that list so here I'm creating the stroboprogrammatic number so between 1 and 1 I'm wrapping that middle in between that 1 and 1 and this is same for 1 and 1 and 6 and 9 8 and 8 and 9 and 6 so in this in each iteration four numbers are being made so this will be repeated for the length of uh, this middles list and finally here I'm returning this result and here that printing and now if i run the code 
you can see the same output that we, as we have expected. I hope that you have understood about this exercise this, about the topographic numbers. And if you like the video, just hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. And finally, thank you for watching.